morning everybody uh, nice early start for me today doing this one um we're going to be doing some nice heartwarming for the cold nights how about a campfire stew my way let me show you what we're going to do i've got a gammon joint a uh, smoked gammon uh, 1.3 kg that is uh, six pounds 60 from aldi it's been in the fridge for about 16 17 hours just to get rid of the excess salt on it because it, otherwise it'll be very salty well in that i've got two large onions some beet tin of baked beans and tin of taco beans uh you can use red kidney beans or whatever you want really i've got three peppers one of each color some celery some mushrooms i've got uh, a tablespoon each of paprika turmeric coriander uh, garlic tomato puree and uh, cumin and I'm going to have a bit of sugar a bit of brown sugar just to taste sweeten it up a bit and some Worcester sauce now I was supposed to put um, carrots in it but I forgot them uh, so I'll probably go up the shop and I'll add them halfway through so if you see carrots in it that's why they're in there uh, I want a couple, of a couple of big carrots that's all and I'm going to do it all in my I'm going to do it, do it in a slow cooker, but in the instant pot. So you can do it in your slow cooker if you want. Um, but I'm going to do mine in my instant pot. So I'm getting my slow cooker out of the cupboard. That's all. Uh, so it's quite simple. First things first. I'm just going to drain my water out of my gammon. Spill it all on the floor as I go as well. Like so. Um, I'm not taking any fat off the gammon or anything. I'm leaving the fat on there. You can cut the fat off if you want. Then take the paper off it. And then basically it's like a dump and go really. Just stick it in and let it do its thing. Okay. Now if you're doing this in your slow cooker, you want about six to eight hours. Because you want to shred all your gammons. You want your gammon all nice and soft before you shred it, you see. Now in the instant pot, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put mine on, I'm going to saute it first anyway, before I do anything, uh, just to brown the outside of the, the edges, that's all. We'll get that heated up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put mine on slow, slow cooker, where it is down there. Uh, I'm going to put it on for probably four or five hours, and then I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to put it on a stew function uh, for about 40 minutes. Why I'm making my spuds. That's what I'm going to do on mine. Okay, there's the gammon. We will get that in. Just a few minutes. I don't want it like crispy brown. It's just the edges really. Just a little bit. I'm not putting any oil in it. It's already falling apart. Look, it's been in that water. It's good. And I'm getting my onions in. But you don't really need to uh, brown everything up. Because it's, it's like a slow cooker thing, isn't it? So, just what I'm doing, that's all. And then we want all your seasonings in. Paprika, turmeric, cumin, get it all in. Coriander, garlic. Tomato puree. Give that a little mix. All you want to do is make sure you don't burn the bottom because uh, you might get an error if you're using an instant pot or pressure cooker. It's nice and simple, these are. Now you want your vegetables in. I'm putting, because I'm doing like a, a pressure cooker on a bit as well, I'm going to put half in now of my veg, which you can do what you want, whatever veg you like, and I'm going to put the other half when I start pressure cooking it, that's what I'm going to do, tins of beans, you can put a uh, tomatoes in if you want I don't, I don't think you need to if you're putting a tin of beans in a 
taco mixed beans in the tomato sauce. Get them in. Don't want the lid, do we? Look at that bowl full of loads there. Bit of Worcester sauce. And that's what I do, like pressure cooker like this. I do a, a slow cook and, and then a pressure cook, because then you can taste it then, especially if you're using one of these. Well, a bit of brown sugar, just to give it a sweet taste. And then I want about half a tin of water. Jobs are good. Done. Pull all that down there, and we're going to put that on slow cook now. I'm going to put it on for probably four or five hours. Let it do its thing. Get me lid. And now I'm, I'm having mine with a um, mashed potato. So I'm going to put it on slow cook six hours. It's not. I'm not going to do it for six. Um, I want it on high setting. Eight hours now, but after four, I'm going to stop it. But it's say you usually take about six or seven hours if you do it in a slow cooker itself. So I'll let that do its thing for a bit. Okay, that has been on for four and a half hours now. Um, now I'm going to turn it off. So I can't really leave it on the eight hours because I've got to... Uh, I won't be able to get the video uploaded otherwise. So then I'm going to let the steam out. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Oh, there it is, looking nice, smelling delicious. I don't know if you can see that properly. It's not done yet, it's just starting to crumble up now. That's what you want. But now it's going to be pressurised now. I want to get the rest of me salad in, whatever you're using. Salad, vegetables. And I did go and get myself some carrots. I want some, uh, a bit of brown sugar, about a tablespoon, just to taste, depends how you like it. Something like that. Some Worcester sauce. We'll give that a quick mix. I can always put some Worcester sauce in or a bit more sugar if you want it a bit sweeter. Um, when you just thicken the sauce up at the end. There you go, look. Feed loads this wood, absolutely loads. Now that's going to go back on with the lid. And now I'm going to put it on stew, on high. I think it's about 45 minutes it does it for, I think. And then when it's nearly done, we will just uh, do a bit of mashed potato. And it's just finished. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to let that self-release for five minutes with a steam. Potatoes are virtually done. Okay, that's uh, unsteamed itself. Oh yes, oh yes. Let's move that lid out of the way and put on the floor. Let me show you at the minute. I'm going to get the gammon out now. Oops. It might fall apart while it's in here, but that's hot. Yes, look at that. Oh, all on the side, look. Look at it. Beautiful. Get it all out. It's all going to be mashed up, so that's fine. I want to get the saute mode on. I start all over my unit. <laughs> <laughs> just shred it all up I could have shred it in there but it's easy just to shred it out of here smells absolutely delicious honestly and it tastes I mean I've done them a few I don't think I've done it on my channel before it tastes gorgeous
Let me just taste the sauce. It's going to be boiling hot. It's already quite sweet. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's get you an angle where you can see it. There you go. I haven't got no light in actually, so it might be a little bit dark. There you go. You just want to thicken that up for five minutes now. Get that back in here. Oh. Look at it. Absolutely delicious. Right, five minutes and we'll dish up. Right, it is done. It's all thickened up nice. There's all the goodness, look. Oh, God, yes. Right then, we will get a bit of mashed potato on first. I do like a bit of mash, me. I do like a bit of mash. We have a hearty meal. I'm having extra mash on mine. I'm going to have extra mash. There we go. And then we'll get the best bit. And now across. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. There's absolutely loads as well. Hearty beer of food. Hearty beer of food. There we go then. There we go. Look at all that. All that gammon. Absolutely delicious and a bit of mashed potato on top. Right. Let's get up the table. Oh, what do you think, Bab? Hello, okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. Heartwarming. Yeah. And it's cold weather, isn't it, eh? Delicious. And have you got an instant pot or some sort of press cooker or a slow cooker? You ain't really got to do anything. You know what I mean? Have you? No. I would leave it in for eight hours. Uh, in a slow cooker. But for the video, I couldn't because otherwise I wouldn't have got the video up. You know what I mean? But that's what's good about doing it in Instant Pot as well. Well, pressure cooker, Instant Pot, whatever you call it. Uh, mix and match, can't you? But it is absolutely delicious. Nice and simple in the winter. And there's loads and loads left, which we'll probably have tomorrow. Because um, we've got to take the, lad, the lads going back tomorrow, so we won't be doing no Sunday dinner. So I might have a... Some of this or some, I don't know, we'll see, eh? Because loads left anyway. Put it in, the, let it cool down and put it in the fridge or something. But all in all, let's get into this meat. Mmm. Smells lovely as well. Mmm. Mmm. That's smokiness with that sugar. It's lovely, ain't it? And a sweet bit. Mmm. I know you're not keen on mash, so I'll just put it on the side for you. Just for the content. No, you don't mind it. Yeah, but you only look at it in moderation, don't you? Yeah. First, uh, brush tires, don't you, Bab? Yeah, I do. So I'll just put it there anyway, in case you want to dip. Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. Mmm. That's lovely, isn't it? Mmm. Well, thank you. So you just put in your veg what you want, you know? Beans, what you want, um, and seasoning, what you want, really. You know what I mean? And season to your taste. I haven't salt and peppered any of it because it needs to. It's got the saltiness of the gammon. And a bit of mash to go with it. Just what you need in this weather, ain't it? It's you nice. want this, Bob? Thank you. Just what you need. Mm. And there's the. Let me get it, yeah. 
there's the brine bits look like I uh, see it at the beginning. So that gammon is £6, I think it was £6.60 or £6.60, £6.60 something anyway. Um, 1.3 kg. You ain't got to use it all. You know, you could have half, so it only cost you a few quid a meal then, wouldn't it, for the four yeah. You've had half of it, like, you mm. know what I mean? Because you wouldn't need it all. You know what I mean? You can cook it all and then have some for another day. Could be. It's cheap as chips then. Yep. You know what I mean? I mean, a few couple of carrots are cheap. You know, peppers are quite expensive. They're about 150 for a pack of three or something. We buy singles, I think, for 45p or something. I can't remember. A couple of onions. A bit of seasoning. Winter night. You're laughing. Anyway, I'm going to tuck in before it gets cold. I've been waiting all day for this. I'm starving. As I say, I'm the old food guy. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you later. What are you giving me out of 10, bad before we go? Sorry about the mess in the corner, I've been cooking. A 10. You're getting it a 10. I'm getting it a 10 and all. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. See you later. Bye bye.